Hi, Chad Heimlich here with First Max Pump. Today we're going to show you how to install a wet end kit into an E2 metallic clamp pump. The same techniques are used for an E3 metallic clamp pump. And also out front we have examples of a wet end kit complete airing kit, pilot valve kit, that are all used within these pumps. The rebuild you're going to see is accurate and man method of machine, but for video purposes, some parts of the work performed have been condensed in time. At any point during the presentation, please pause this video until you have completed any part of the rebuild. Identifying which kit is required for your repair has become easier on newer pumps with the permanently affixed metal serial number tag that now indicates the wet end and airing kit information for the pump. Kit information can also be found in the service and operating manual. For somatic genuine replacement parts, wet end and airing kits provide a bill of material of the components included in the kit. All items included in the kits are components that Versamatic recommends replacing when rebuilding a pump. The pump we are using today is an example of the ease of installation Always consult your respective service and operating manual before performing any maintenance on your pump. Service and operating manuals include composite repair parts drawings, repair parts list, and torque specifications. For service and operating manuals and more information, visit us on the web at www.versamatic.com. Always remember that safety is the highest priority. When working on or around any equipment, always follow the correct safety procedures. Always read and follow the safety warnings and instructions in the service manual before any work is started on the pump. For more information, see the Warren Rump video on safety at versamatic.com. The pump we are using in this presentation has been built new and is considerably easier to work with than a pump that has been used in a process. Additional time may be required in preparation and separation of parts and components during the rebuild. While the pumps are different in size and flow, the techniques and procedures used in the rebuild of the E2 pump are also applied to the commonality of the E3. These are the recommended tools used with the rebuild. While the sizes may change based on the model, the type will remain the same. Torque wrench, ratchet, small slotted screwdriver, o-ring pick, snap ring pliers, 12 inch pry bars, sockets and or wrenches, 9 16 inch, 11 16 inch, 1 and 5 16 inch 6 point socket, 5 30 seconds inch socket head allen wrench. Okay, let's get started. Today we're going to use a 3 8 impact gun just for ease of disassembly and reassembly. First, we're going to take off the discharge manifold. Remove the discharge manifold and set aside for later reassembly. Remove the discharge check balls and valve seats and discard. Remove the air valve assembly. Set aside for later rebuild. We're turning the pump upside down so we have a flat surface to work off of. Removing the suction manifold. Set the suction manifold aside. Remove the valve seats and check balls and discard. Now remove clamp assembly on the water chambers. Remove the water chamber on one side. Now remove the water chamber on the opposite side. Hold one diaphragm assembly while ratcheting off the opposite diaphragm assembly. Once one diaphragm assembly is removed, set aside our outer plates, discard the diaphragm, remove 
remove the inner plate and the ceiling o-ring. Remove the plastic washer. Now remove the opposite diaphragm assembly that is attached to the rod. Versomatic shafts have wrench flats on the rod to assist in diaphragm removal and installation when performing maintenance in the field. Today we will use a vise with soft jaws. Soft jaws are utilized to ensure that the shaft is not scarred, scratched, or damaged while the shaft is clamped in the vise. Go ahead and remove the old diaphragm assembly from the main rod and discard the diaphragm. Also be sure to remove and discard the old o-ring. Inspect the inner and outer diaphragm plates. Ensure the plates have no sharp edges or scarring on the radius. Plates can be cleaned up with emery paper, crocus cloth, or fine sandpaper. Make sure the radius is maintained during cleanup. Replace if necessary. Inspect the main shaft, ensure there is no scratching, scarring, and replace as needed. Now we're ready to install our wet end kit. Install our plastic washer, our inner plate with the radius facing towards the diaphragm, our ceiling o-ring, Note on the diaphragm, air side. Air side of the diaphragm will go towards our inner diaphragm plate. In this case, it has natural bulge out. Now install our outer plate. Be sure to torque the diaphragm assembly according to factory specifications listed in the service manual. Once the diaphragm assembly is torqued to the rod, we will apply a little grease to the main shaft to ensure we do not damage the main shaft o-ring. Seat the diaphragm into the air chamber groove. Now we're ready to install our opposite diaphragm assembly. Install the plastic washer on the opposite side. The inner diaphragm plate radius will face towards the air side of the diaphragm. Install our ceiling o-ring. Note the air side of the diaphragm will go towards the inner plate. In this case, it's natural bulge out. We're going to invert the diaphragm. and begin to thread on our outer plate. Once the diaphragm outer plate has been threaded onto the rod, holding one diaphragm assembly and torquing the second side to the rod. Now we're ready to install our outer chamber. Inspect the outer chamber for casting integrity. Inspect the machine surfaces and radius of the chamber for damage or material buildup. Scarring, scratching, or material buildup can be cleaned up using emery paper, crocus cloth, or fine sandpaper. Ensure the radius on the inside of the chamber is maintained during cleanup. Chamber orientation requires the discharge side of the chamber to be installed in the same direction as the air valve face on the center block. Go ahead and get your clamps started onto the outer chamber and inner chamber. Be sure to seat it fully. Bring the clamps close together as possible. 
so we can get our bolts started holding our, our large clamp assembly. Go ahead and install our bolts. We don't want to torque or tighten our clamp assembly completely just yet. Now we'll install the opposite outer chamber. For ease of installation, we're using two 12 inch pry bars and get up underneath the inner diaphragm plate to shift the diaphragm assembly across. Be sure to align the pry bar up underneath the inner diaphragm plate so we do not damage the diaphragm. Gently pry it across. Once it has been shifted across, you can roll the diaphragm seating the outer bead into the air chamber. Now we're ready to install our opposite outer chamber. Inspect the outer chamber for casting integrity. Inspect the machine surfaces and radius of the chamber for damage or material buildup. Scarring, scratching, or material buildup can be cleaned up using emery paper, crocus cloth, or fine sandpaper. Ensure the radius on the inside of the chamber is maintained during cleanup. Replace the chamber if necessary. Chamber orientation requires the discharge side of the chamber to be installed in the same direction as the air valve face on the center block. Be sure to align both outer chambers. Press on one clamp half. And the opposite clamp half. Be sure to seat them fully so we can get the bolts started on the clamps. Go ahead and throw down the bolts, but do not tighten as of yet, as we need to align the outer chambers. Note that the outer chambers are not completely aligned just yet. Make sure you have a flat surface so we can align the chambers. You may need to use a rubber mallet to adjust the chambers and ensure that they are both level with each other. This will ensure proper sealing surface against the suction and discharge manifolds. Note they're nice and flat on the table. Now we're ready to tighten our large clamps. There is no torque spec required for the large clamps. Tighten the clamps evenly to ensure proper sealing. Now we're ready to install our suction manifold. We want to inspect the manifold for scarring, damage, or material buildup. Check the casting for wear. Check the port for thread integrity. Repair or replace as needed. When installing the valve seats, ensure that the O-ring portion of the valve seat faces down Fully install the valve seat into the suction manifold. Now install our center section on top of our suction manifold. Be sure we have proper alignment between the outer chambers and the suction manifold. Orientation of the manifold is based on process requirements and may be reinstalled in either direction. Once alignment is achieved, we're ready to install our small clamps and tighten down evenly. Take note that there is no torque value for the small clamp assembly.
Be sure the alignment of the air valve gasket is installed properly. Once it is aligned, go ahead and tighten down the air valve bolts and torque according to factory specifications in a cross pattern. Now we can install valve seats on our discharge side. Make sure the O-ring of the seat is facing down into the water chamber and the flat surface is towards the check ball. We want to inspect the manifold for scarring, damage, or material buildup. Check the casting for wear. Check the port for thread integrity. Repair or replace as needed. Emery paper, crocus cloth, or fine sandpaper can be used to clean the manifold up. Orientation of the manifold is based on process requirements and may be reinstalled in either direction. Ensure the discharge manifold is properly aligned with the water chambers. Now we're ready to install our small clamp assembly. Tighten the small clamp assemblies evenly to ensure proper sealing. This concludes our wet side rebuild of our E2 metallic clamp pump. Today we put in diaphragms, valve seats, and check balls. When doing a complete rebuild, see our airside repair video. Or for more information, visit us on the web at versamatic.com or contact after sales support at service.versamatic at idexcorp.com. Thank you.